Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. The previous episode we pretty much got everyone up to the level that we require them to be at. Everyone is sitting nicely at level 3 apart from just a few people but they'll be getting there short enough, shortly enough at least. Uh, and there has been a few different additions to the game. If we come over here and take a look we have now activated the Crimson Court DLC. Uh, I'd be, I been suggested to activate it, obviously, a lot since I uh, first got it gifted to me by DB Fan. Thank you again, DB Fan. But also, uh, people said it was kind of about time that I activated it, and people have some diary entries and things to go along with that. So let's get right into that. Here we are in the Cursed Estate. We have everyone pretty much leveled up. We've got a lot of level 4s, a lot of level 3s. And only a few level twos, but like I said, they'll be getting there soon. But we have indeed activated the Crimson Court DLC. I am both scared and excited for the content that lies ahead. It is some dark and troubling times with the Crimson Court DLC, with the Crimson Curse, and a lot of the new content. But I'm about ready to get into it, and I have done a few little things in preparation for it. Apparently, the first level Crimson Court quest here um which we can't do yet apparently but the first level of that is uh is apparently an apprentice one which means that we'd um this is apprentice here so we'd need level twos and we've only got three level twos right now so we won't be able to take our level threes so i've taken a mod that, re that re removes our level requirement restrictions so that we can go into the courtyard when we wish uh, i think that's gonna be a good idea something that i do want to do fairly shortly is the next step on our uh, quest towards the Incant Whispers, which I'm not exactly sure where that is. Thinking about it now, um, <laughs> there's meant to be a quest for the Incant Whisper uh, somewhere about. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe it's a maybe it's something that we have to do a, sp a specific time. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, Kill Necromancer. Let's have a little look around and see if we can find it, shall we? Swine King. Uh, complete 100% room battles. and uh, Explore 90 rooms. Hag. Gather three ha um, hastily carved stones. Ooh, Mitre Seal. I'd love a Mitre Seal, but... Oh, this is it, yeah. Gather three magic relics. The fire has requested you seek out a number of ancient tablets and delve into the wheel. Do not return empty-handed. But that is a champion at level five quest. It's going to be a little while until we get onto that. But I do know that the rewards for that are uh, are very, very lucrative, shall I say? Uh, but now we've actually got the ability to um, we've got the ability to go and do one of our bosses, and it's probably a good idea for us to go and do so, because we haven't done a boss in quite some time, actually. Uh, wow, that's amazing. Privateer, extra speed, extra maximum HP, extra accuracy, extra damage, extra bleed chance, but no healing or stress healing. It makes him to a all-out warrior, but that's a very good trinket. Um, I don't think we have the ability to kill the Incant Flesh yet. I haven't seen that. Swine King, no... I am I'm not all that prepared for a boss yet I'd have to say. Uh, I'm not all that prepared. But I do want to go and uh, and try and do one at some point soon. Uh, so please do give me some uh, give me some preparation should I say for some of the bosses ahead. Let me go and do a little bit of background research and I'll come and put together a nice squad that's going to help us for our next boss fight. Okay, I'm finally back. I've made a decision. I think we're going to go for the Necromancer. I've had a little bit of advice from people. Uh, will June will be coming with us as our healer. Mainly because, I mean, one, uh, Will June is a really good healer. But also because Will ties into the story with a Necromancer and it'll build onto his research quite a lot. So he really wants to get out there and help. We've got um, Anguis here. Just because Anguis is really hard hitting. He's got that massively buffed crit and damage from these two trinkets. Here. Um, it's going to make him really, really, really good for taking out the, uh, the Necromancer himself because he can hit the back line, he can puncture. Apparently, stealth is something that's going to be a part of this as well, so being able to de stealth is really nice. 
We've got Clint here, um, who's actually pretty interesting for this because the boss Necromancer is Eldritch. So if we get the chance to bring it into range of our collect bounty here, we have plus 10% accuracy and crit versus Eldritch, but also plus 10% and minus 10% stress against Eldritch, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's going to be hugely useful. Um, he does have a 10% chance to target someone random. Anyways, so that actually could play into our hand. We could end up hitting someone further away that's out of our reach. We also have paired him up with these as well, which is going to be extra damage versus marked with the extra speed. The speed is going to hopefully be for stunning or grabbing, as long, uh, along with marking as well. Um, and then paired with... Uh, Clint here. We actually have Ruby, who hasn't been out in a little while. We've got uh, with the um, the Ringmaster's uh, Eagle Eye tail uh, Talisman, just for that extra damage and mainly the extra accuracy. Being able to hit all of our shots is going to be really, really good here. Um, and then she's got the extra damage versus marked as well, which pairs up with this extra damage versus marked, and we're able to mark using this skill here, her Skeet Shot. Uh, and then we've also got the Slime Jar, just for a little bit of extra healing. I think it's really worth bringing this with us. And that Stun Resist is also very nice. Getting up to 90% stun resist is hugely helpful. So I think this is going to be really good. Uh, we do have the chance, or I'll say even guarantee, of coming across our... Um Mr. Collector here, but I think we have a really solid group for taking out the Collector nonetheless. One thing I need to check before we head off, do we have um, ourselves a Prevent Nighttime Ambush anywhere? Let's have a little look, see, shall we? There we go. We have research here. Prevent Knights of Ambush. That's going to be really nice. Um, is there any other skills that we desperately want here that we might want to bring with us? That's pretty good for stress relief. Um, plus six crit if stress is below 75. Plus 50 stress healed on crit. Plus four stress when an attack misses. Now, we won't take that. We'll take that, though. Uh, actually, no. Do you know what? Let's get rid of that one, because I never use that one. Uh, that's fine for you. I think one companion gaining... Nah, that's not great. 25% scout chance is pretty nice, although I don't know how common... that, Like, how useful that will actually end up being. Uh, Clint here. He has this one here, which is really nice for, for taking out size twos. Uh, but I, again, don't really think we'll end up using it because I'm probably going to be using the scouting uh, and the tracking as well. And then Anguis. we got to remember the Anguis here. He does have the chance that we're going to fight the um, fight the snakes in his, uh, in his dreams. That could lead to some really big problems with stress and things like that. So we, we, do have to, we do have to worry about that. We do have to be aware that that could be a possibility that that happens to us. We've got to be ready for that eventuality. But let's hop into our provisions here. I'm not going to take any chances here. I'm taking full food, full torches. We'll take five of them. We're going to take four of them. Do you know what? We're taking four of them as well. Four of them. Four of them. And four of them. Just in case. I really, with the anti-venom especially, I really want to make sure we can stop people being blighted by the snakes. So I'm bringing a lot of that. Bandages, I'm just bringing a lot of because I'm just, I'm scared. <laughs> Level three missions are scary. This is our first one. So I am, I'm a little worried, it's safe to say. But I've leveled everyone up. I've made sure everyone's got their gear all up to level four and everything. So we should be pretty good to go here. So let's embark. And we do have some diary entries to go through. Let's listen to this first. Processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. Oh my. Oh my. But we do have something to be read, and this is by TEA yet again, to be read on the activation of the Crimson Court. And this is a journal entry from the local cartographer. So far, I've mapped the area around the hamlet, the harbour, and a good amount of the ruins, curve, and warrens, and wield, thanks to the help of the adventurers in the town. But recently, I discovered a marshland a ways north of the entrance to the warrens. Doing a little research, it seems to be uh, belong. The land seems to have belonged to nobles and royalty that resided here a few decades ago. I'm getting ready to head that way now with an assistant and to carry some more supplies. Let's hope there isn't anything too dangerous that far out. Sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. We also have a few diary entries from the last episode. This is one by uh, Cell and this is for Chasey, our um, succubus. 
A shame, really. I was basically sent on that mission to be a pretty face. The worst part of all of it was, I barely got so much of a taste of the life force of my companions. Thankfully, I had enough spare life essence saved up to keep myself alive. And that's just referencing to the fact that she got bullied. Absolutely bullied in the last episode. But here we are, into the ruins. I'm a little scared. This is our, like I said, this is our first adventure into a level 3 mission. The enemies here are fucking brutal. And I mean, like, insanely brutal. Like, we have come across some of them. I think the Weeping Angel type enemy is the the biggest bad. But they're, they're pretty easy to subdue as long as you're careful. You've basically got to hit it two times before it gets a chance to hit you. And a map there is really, really nice. Uh, the more scouting we can get right now, the, the happier I'm going to be. The happier I'm going to be to, to be prepared for what's ahead of us. I want to come into contact with as, as many, sorry, as few fights as possible. We have got one here that we're going to have to face. And there's one of those bigger enemies. Hopefully we can get past this. I'm really hoping to take as little stress on Anguis as possible. Because he will gain horror from his nightmares. Uh, do you know what? We're just going to mark this guy for now and get ready. Ground pound. That's a big hit already. So mo more stress coming in on him already. There's a 35 crit. That's what we like to see. Um, yeah, we're going to impale here. We're going to heal party. Get everyone healed up there. Nice. Y'all going down, sir. Another huge crit. We have we have kept the stress dealer in play, which I really prefer not to do. But taking out that big guy was was far too tempting. We do have some stress relieving uh, skills here on um, Ruby that we could switch over to. I haven't switched over to it yet, but that could be something that we do. In fact, do you know what? I'm gonna switch to that after this battle, uh, and then switch back over to the um, to the D stealth once we get to the boss. I think that's gonna be the best way to do this. Huge heals. Absolutely huge heals. Ruby's going to be so important here, I think. Nice hits. Ooh, uh, nice. 20... Ooh, that's very good. Plus 20 prot in position 1. That that could be very, very useful. Uh, so yeah, just for now, we're going to switch over to this here. And just do a little bit of de-stressing along the way. We want to get as, as much de-stressing as early as possible, really. Um, and, and just make sure that people stay... Stay alive. Um... I'm going to try and drag you first. I don't really know what this guy does, but I can't imagine it's good. We're taking a bit of stress here, but like I said, we can deal with it for now. For now. Yeah, I, d I, I thought we didn't want to deal with that guy. Let's take him out immediately. And Ruby, can you... You two can, can br pretty much do whatever you want from where you are, so let's buff up this guy. Get that hit on you. Nice crit heal there. Crit heals didn't do anything for actual health, but it does give us a bit of a stress reliever, which is really, really nice. Um, you have seven, we're not going to be able to kill you this turn. We would almost definitely kill you. I think it's better, though, to try and get rid of the stress as early as possible. And in doing that, we can no longer hit you. Oh, fantastic. Let's just heal ourselves up. Okay, let's let's do an impale here because that'll definitely kill you and blight you too as well. Anguis, our shield breaker is just insane. I, I the shield breaker class is so so very powerful. I should have checked if that blight would have killed you. Oh well, we've got a bit of a mark on us here, but that shouldn't matter. Um, do you know what? Let's let's spend a little bit of time here. Um, spend a little bit of time here doing some de-stressing while we have the chance, or not. Because you're going to just do whatever you want. She has a mind of her own. Nice. Nice big buffs there. You can be marked. Body can go. We might get one turn. One turn of stress healing. I don't want to I don't want to take the piss. Right, you're on 14. We want to get rid of it off you mostly, so let's do that. Bump in the night. Small hit there. That's not a problem. And then we'll go for the kill. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. So open this bad boy up. Nice bit of extra gold there. We're really not looking to gather tons of materials on this quest. If I if I have to leave stuff behind, like money and um, deeds and all that sort of stuff, I honestly don't particularly care. I just want to get out of here alive and well. Um, and I, I'm sure everyone that's along with us is thinking the exact same thing as me. Um, 
few of these people, especially people like Clint and Ruby, really haven't been out much as of late. And so I feel like I feel like these two are going to be a little rusty. Um, I think I think uh, Will has been doing a lot of preparation for this, uh, been readying for the upcoming battle, really, uh, and researching into the necromancer and the, the necromatic arts. So I, th I think I think he's prepared everyone for what what is to come and, and what is here, what lies in wait. But that does not mean that they aren't a bit rusty. While they have been training back at the hamlet, it's an entirely different spot. Here's our first stealthed enemy. When you get into level three quests, stealth enemies become a bit more common. I'm going to go for the hit there. Uh, let's go for the de-stealth straight away, shall we? Try and stab you. Oh, I don't, I don't even know why I did that. I just realized I stabbed an enemy to try and bleed it, and I can't bleed them because they're skeletons. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. No worries. Just got to be careful and aware. Okay, we don't really have to worry about our damage that much um, on these smaller enemies. It's only the big enemies that we need to do the sort of marking prep and everything that we have been doing. On these smaller enemies, it's, it's really not too bad. And as you can see, these guys are, are actually pretty darn good. Uh, ooh, extra repost, extra accuracy. That's pretty good. These guys are pretty darn good at taking out the riffraff. The bigger battles, yeah, they, they, they pose a lot more of a threat. But... These guys, we really don't want to get observed here. Um, so let's go with a puncture. That should maybe kill you. No, that will bleed you. That, that means you're dead. Nice. Knife in the dark stops you from stealing strategy. Nice. It might take some bleed on here. Uh, we did indeed take a little bit of bleed on there. Um, just to make sure you don't get a move in. You're definitely going to die. Make sure you don't get a move in. I'm going to kill you. Nice one. I think that's why that well. You should die next turn. Yeah. We don't need to attack you for now. Um, take on you. We'll use some of those many, many bandages we brought with us. And we'll just spend a little more time healing up and everything. That is such an amazing heal. Such an amazing heal. Also, something that um, something that you might want to note, and I might want to note, this is a free action. I should be using it every single opportunity I get. It does indeed debuff our speed, but it gives us plus two damage, which is lovely, and plus 35% armor piercing. That's pretty valuable. I really should be using that every chance I get. Yeah. M load you down to pretty much zero stress. You die to the bleed. Don't want that. Um, we're going to take all the buffs we can get on you. Although this won't be a buff, this will get rid of a quirk, won't it? Uh, the, the most negative quirks we have here are on Clint, so we'll do this for Clint. See if we can get rid of something horrible. Ignorant is a decent one. We really wanted to be getting rid of Inaccurate or Gluttonous. Then the, the two big hitters for us at the moment, the ones that are going to really be most noticeable. Most obvious. I'm going to use a shovel here. We shouldn't need five shovels along this path. Okay, food's getting a little low, actually. Uh, a little lower than I was hoping. Unfortunately, going to the ruins, you don't find any food, really. So, okay, we're going to be prepping for the uh, the Wombo Combo here. So, we want to be using this. And then we do that for a 48 crit. He has one HP left. One HP. We'll go for the stab here. We want you to die. We really don't want to get observed. It, it makes the characters much harder to, to group with. And power's fine. We did take a rather big hit on Ruby there, but that should be fine. Um, do you know what? We should probably go for an Impale, just because it will kill both. Yeah, it did. Good. And that guy's still, so it'll hit him too. Um, go for a hit here. We want to get an extra heal on Ruby, really, before this combat's over. We're not going to get it, are we? Uh, actually, no. We could. We might be able to. There you go. Nice one. Nice big heal there. I'm going to take a Bayonet to the face. Don't think that's too big of a problem. Okay, that went that went really well. the The combo we've got going on here with Ruby is really nice. Um, let's keep lowering your stress. Probably gonna take one more big hit here. Five. It's not great, but heal for ten there. Pretty much negates any damage we took, and we get ourselves back into our default position, and we're ready to go. Uh, again, don't really care about crescents, but I want to keep all of my resources that we have available to us here. And this is our first vial of blood. I definitely want to take a vial of blood with us. Um, like I said, I will even throw away some money for that. We, we need that for later. The Crimson Curse 
is certainly plausible. It could happen. It could definitely happen. We have to be prepared for it when it does. Uh, it's not something that I'm willing to deal with or want to deal with, but it's something that I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, I'm really going to have to be prepared for when that happens. Luckily, this group has done absolutely fantastically so far uh, in terms of getting through this. We've not had to camp or anything. This group is very, very well equipped. The thing is, though, with... Um these level 3 missions, they can be looking like they're going all hunky-dory and easy. I should have got rid of that loud and really. They can be looking like they're going all hunky-dory and easy, and one battle can turn the tide so unbelievably quickly it'll make your head spin. So we've got to be very aware and careful of that. It's, it's very, very, very difficult to uh, recover from a bad battle when that happens. I do love the fact that um, Will June here is so... Easy to use as both damage and healing. I might actually say, I might say that he's incredibly overpowered, <laughs> but, but, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, he is. <laughs> I think Will is probably the strongest healer in the game right now. For us. Should have gone for the other target, really, shouldn't I? Oh, well. The Impale will kill him. But th this, this group is, is stomping the fields. Absolutely stomping the fields. You know what? Let's take a ruby. Pretty good. Little bit of nothing. Thank you. Uh, right. Ha what's this debuff you got? Okay, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Health is looking a little low. Um, got to remember, we do have the chance. We do have the chance that the collector comes. That's why I'm not camping yet. And also, we've got our snakes. In fact... It, it would behoove us to not camp because we don't want to risk the snakes. This, this is going to be the collector, so just be prepared for that. It's oh, it's not. Oh my god, I'm a. What's happened here? That's crazy. That's crazy. The roaming collector is such a cool mod, but it means we fight him a lot more often. But at the same time, I'm not really that bothered by that because fighting him, it's risky, but it's rewarding. So it's not that bad. Right. I think Impale is super strong here. Um, getting Blight on everyone. And just hitting everyone in general. Uh, we're going to go for this backline guy here. Nice crit there, Ruby. Nice crit. Ruby and Aurora need to go out on a mission together as well. Ruby and Aurora haven't been out together in a while. And them two, pretty good friends around the Hamlet. Pretty good friends. I think they, uh, I think they should maybe go out on an adventure together. I mean, they're probably more buddies of just talking and drinking than fighting side by side, but I think they do have the fair share of both, to be honest. Um, let's heal you up, make sure you're full, because you got a bit of bleed on you. How'd you get all the way to the back, you fool? We go forward here. Puncture, that can't be guarded is really nice. Really nice, it's gonna help on the boss a lot. And let's go ahead and finish you off. Ooh, an unfortunate dodge there, but don't worry about it. I prepared. We didn't see get a trinket here, but it's not a good one. We're pretty sure we've already got one, in fact, so I'm not really, really that bothered. But yeah, I'm actually pretty tempted to not camp at all here and camp after the boss fight, you know? This uh, this will be our collector. Uh, just because we haven't fought the collector yet, and I'd rather camp after the collector, and we run the risk of running into um, our snakes, and honestly, that's a pretty risky risk. But we could have the collector here. We didn't. We didn't. That's pretty lucky of us. Um, let's just try and cut you down. Ooh, that was a meaty hit. Go for the puncture there. He does have a lot of prot, so that's going to help us a lot there. Take him down. He's got that repurse that's hurting us a lot. Ooh, nice hit. Unfortunately, we're going to take on a little bit more stress here. But yeah, I'm actually pretty tempted to just not camp at all here. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, let's take care of you so you're not dealing any more stress. And then we can leave you alive while we de-stress a little bit here, I think. Run for the old gods. Nice dodge there. Ruby's actually a little high on stress as well, looking at it. We're getting both down into, into second level stress. We don't want reinforcements to come here, but at the same time, getting a bit of stress reduction is really nice. Oh, another nice dodge, Clint. You're doing good today. You're doing good. Nice. Entering combat with stealth. That's part of, that's one of her, um, 
One of our things, isn't it? Prowler, low chance to enter stealth during combat. Really, really nice. Uh, we'll just do a party heal here for the chance at crits. We didn't get any, but... Oh, we can't de-stress ourselves. Okay. So we'll just do that last one. This will be our last one. We'll go for a kill now. 38 damage. Very easy kill. Take that. Right, let's go into this boss fight. I think we're about ready. I'm not going to camp. It seems risky, I know, but we really really don't have a, a, a need to camp. I think camping, I don't know, maybe it's because we're just more powerful than we should be at this stage. I genuinely think it's not that. I think it's just that, for one, we're getting a bit lucky. For two, we're learning how to play our characters. And for three, I think camping in general is more of a safety net than a requirement. I feel like camping is there for when things go wrong. It's not there to just use any time you need it, sort of. Uh, like, it's not there to just be, like, you're supposed to use it halfway through your quest, sort of thing. It's there for when you need it, but only when you need it. So there's no point camping if we don't need to, especially when there's a risk associated. But here's our boss. We're going to mark him off the bat. I think that's going to be a really good idea to get him marked. Nice pierce. He does have a lot of health here. Six feet under. He's, su he's summoning things. Oh, I should have activated my uh, my thingy, shouldn't I? Right, let's get you buffed up straight off the bat. But, wow. Wow, he added a lot of stress already. I did not realize just how much stress he added. Holy damn. Okay, that's fine. That's even finer. You just used two actions that I, I couldn't be happier about. Wow. Um, We're going to go for the bleed on you. Yeah, I believe it's just only 40, and I'm, uh, I didn't even get it there. That's, that's that's a bit upsetting. We can pull you, can't we? Yes, we can. Good. We're going straight for the kill here, if you can't see that already. I think he's going to die, honestly, next turn. He did get the bleed, finally. There is all these skelly, bo skelly bobs here, but that's, honestly, that's all, that's all she wrote. That was, that, was in, that was incredible. The boss has been bested. Will June has, has completed his research. I think that went pretty well. Oh, we got a blueprint here. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of shovels. Take a blueprint. We got this as well. Don't think I'll ever use that, but I'll take it for the money nonetheless. Uh, we'll take that. And we will return to the hamlet. Feeling very, very happy about that. That, that, that went exceedingly well. Exceedingly well. Very, very happy with that indeed. Um, we got two to level four here. Will June and uh, Anguis reached level four. And we got ourselves Clint. He's uh, almost level four. He's taken this, though. That's definitely want to get rid of that. Unfortunately, we did get Armor Breaker over Eldritch Slayer. I'd, I'd prefer Eldritch Slayer, but that's fine, I guess. We've taken a bit more stress than we we're wanting right towards the end there, but there you go. Our, our new court, court quest is available here, so let's have a little look at that. First of all... Let's just de-trinketify everyone. Um, and who needs... I think Ruby, you should probably go and pray. Get a little bit of stress relief. And Clint, I think you should get rid of that uh, that disease that you just took on there, I think. I think that disease is not great. So we'll get rid of that. We'll check on our trinkets available to us here. Um, wow. That's insanely good. Repose plus 50. I'm going to buy that. Holy hell, that's amazing. Um... Extra accuracy and damage is in position 2. That's also very good. Extra damage is in position 4. We've already got one of those. Um, humans, we're still looking for the um, undead version of this. But we still we still haven't found it yet, unfortunately. Uh, and we'll check who are our new arrivals. We have a falconeer at level 4. Very, very nice. We can swap out a falconeer right here, right now. Um, falconeer, where are you? Sabrina, there you are. Sab... Rina. Oh, wait, no. Sabrina, there you go. Uh, and I think she's wearing the same costume already. So that means we can do away with this Sabrina and bring in the new one. Just going to quickly go in back and remove these guys. Um... Yes, this one is a level one mission. This probably means this probably means wow, we get a, we get a lot of stuff for this. Um, this probably means that we will be over leveled for this because we are bringing in some over leveled heroes. I'm not going to bring in level fours, of course. We'll have to bring in at least one level three. Um, 
Probably even two, because I'm pretty sure Trell's still away until next week. So... I'm pretty sure that kind of sets that in stone. <laughs> so we might we might just have to go straight for it. Um, let's have a look who's going to be best for this then, shall we? So we'd be getting uh, ourselves a Crimson Court Vestal. Uh, extra melee damage and crit, pretty nice. Uh, Abomination only with extra damage on range skills and extra crit on range skills. And we have a Banished Hunter one as well, which is going to be giving us um, on hit buff self for extra melee crit chance uh, and damage reflection. On being hit, deal two damage to the attacker, but he gets minus eight crit with ranged attacks. I think that sounds pretty darn good to me. Um, pretty darn good indeed. Again, we do have some more diary entries here to get into as well. Uh, we'll get into those in just a second. Let's try and think up a little group to go with here just one moment okay i've got together a little group here unfortunately like i said we've had to bring main level threes which probably means we'll absolutely stomp this mission i would imagine doesn't mean we can't get the curse though but we do bring mars that is a level two we've got him with us just to get him leveled up a little bit we've got him equipped with the focus ring and the slime jar we've got our um a rookie here, which is our salamander haven't brought a rookie out yet um he is the dimension hopper sort of class that i'm very interested in using but he's gonna be very interesting lots of fire base attacks seems really good we've got maggie coming out with the new head that we got with the extra restoration amount and duration and to counteract that stress she's got a book of sanity and we also have manold with the um old man's blunderbuss as well as uh, the temperance card which i think is going to be really really useful on him and lead to some pretty damn good kills with him uh we're also just going to go quickly back to here and make sure if we sort by level and then go all the way up to the top we can make sure that everyone in our roster here is fully uh, equipped with everything they need uh we'll just go with everything upgraded on you because i don't know what we're going to be using you're all upgraded you're not Let's get all of them upgraded, shall we? Uh, Manold is also all upgraded. And then quickly, I think just Maggie needs her armor upgrading. There you go. And this is what I was saying before about our money. It goes quick. It goes really quick. Really, really quick. Right, so let's hop into the courtyard here. We're going to be getting our Vessel Trinket, Abomination Trinket, and a Banish Hunter one. The Banish Hunter one actually sounds really, really good. I, I like the idea of that, making him to a more melee character. The Banished Hunter actually seems like a really interesting character. It seems like a lot of thought and depth has been put into his trinkets and the fact that he can have vastly different builds just by the two trinkets that he equips. He can really change his playstyle a lot. And that's very interesting to me. I I'm, I'm really looking forward to using him more and seeing more classes come out in the future that are similar to him so let's go out of the provisions um we don't need blood yet i don't think but we'll take it anyways uh, we've got ourselves these pitch soaked torch a special torch twice wrapped in cloth and soaked in um sufflurious compounds i think that's just to um like a quest objective thing uh so we'll bring ourselves 14 food this is only a short mission as well so it, w it won't take us too long Cool. I don't really know what else to bring out with us here, but I think this is going to be good. And we'll embark on our mission. We do have two Jenny entries, both written by Tier. One moment. Once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position, we mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues, our salacious trysts half-hidden in the hedgerows, our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. Oh, damn. But yeah, we have a journey in journal entry here, uh, two actually by T. Uh, uh, one of them is for Ryan Hawthorne, our occultist. An expedition into the ruins bore fruit. Octavia tagged along and we searched for relics and artifacts deep in the maze of the stone walls and dusty shelves. The hall was more than sufficient and I was able to keep that devil among us at bay for the journey with a clever hex I placed on her before we left. Whether or not she noticed, I couldn't care less. Leech. <laughs> Referencing um, Chasey there. I am I am scared to travel in here. Um, okay, so this is bandages, I think. I, ha I do know a little bit about the curios around here. Got some more blood. 
Nice. Uh, I've got our first enemies here. Let's hope we don't succumb to them straight away. So, I can never remember how to best use um, Mars here, our Fury class. So, he has this, which uh, is a melee with less damage, got a bit of knockback. It debuffs target and buffs our stun chance. So, let's just go for that. We even got a kill right off the bat. Very nice. Um, we can hit you with a flame. Wow, a crit straight off the bat as well. Our rookie, our salamander there. Burning. Burning them at the stake, pretty much. So, yeah, I'm really not sure how this works, this bloodlight here. Into a battle straight into this room, okay. Um, he can heal himself off that, and he seems to have filled up with blood. Okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a significant improvement in, um, in restoration here. So, let's do that and buff our stun. Um, finish you off, actually. Nice one. But these enemies scare me. They scare me deeply. The curse... It could, it could land on us at any point. I think it's like a 30% chance. He just resisted it there. He just resist, he, It works on disease resist. He just resisted it at a 20% chance. God, that's scary. That's really scary. Got to remember as well, with our Banished Hunter here, his first turn is insanely low on accuracy. So we really want to, um, we really want to be using his um, repost on his first turn, no matter what, pretty much. But yeah, I'm already scared. And this should stun. It, they both resisted. Uh, they probably got fairly high stun resist. Yep, they've, they've insanely high stun resist. Not even any point trying with those guys. Not even any point trying. That's crazy. Oof, we've been blighted. We've been blighted again. Oh, we resisted the blight that time. And here comes... The repose. Of course, the repose is a stun repose, so I'm manold. Really not that great. I didn't know that coming into the, uh... Coming into the courtyard here, I'll have to remember for next time that blight... Uh, sorry, that stun really isn't the way to go. Interesting to note that we can bleed these guys. I mean, I, they're still flesh, I suppose, so it makes sense. It makes sense. But yeah, stun resist on these guys, pretty high. I'm loving Akiri here. Okay, so I'm guessing this is this. Yeah. Gotta burn these hives down. And it's interesting how the courtyard does this this new thing where rooms are discovered as we come across them. Um, what do we need for this? A shovel, I think? Probably a shovel, right? I don't know. Apparently these missions can be like never-ending sort of thing as well, so I don't really know how that works. Okay, do a shovel there. Yeah, it was a shovel. Be careful with using shovels, though. I'm, I'm trying to learn the curios, but I, I don't want to waste all my resources at the same time. Um, That one's a torch. Didn't do anything. Not exactly sure what that's about. Wow, this is a long path to the uh, next area. We don't need to use torches at all here. Ooh, that's a, that's a decent amount of stress. The thirst. It missed. Nice. Nice hit there, Mars. Nice hit. I'll probably finish you off with a single burst of flames. I love the arms on this character. It looks so cool. Let's get that going. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he can hit from where he is. Yeah, he, he can't hit the front line from where he is. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Please be okay. Right, you go down. As you can see, we are relatively stomping through this, but that's because we have some overleveled characters here. That's not going to be like this every time in the court. A crumbling pillar. We only have one shovel left. I may have made a mistake in using that other shovel. I may have made a mistake. Let's hope it doesn't haunt us. Let's hope it doesn't haunt us. Well, maggots shouldn't be too hard. In fact, we can probably just burn them all. Nice hits. Yeah, let's just finish them off with a burn. We've not used this yet. We do take five HP damage, but not, not a problem. It, it might actually be worth um, our rookie taking a bunch of things that buff our our HP. That might actually be a really good idea. Buffing maximum HP could be huge. Okay. I don't like. I said. I, I know that some of these are never ending. I don't know if this one is. I, I'm not sure. Oh, this is stress relief. Interesting. 
Okay, that's 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 useful to know for the future. But yeah, apparently I can like leave at any time I want. I don't know if it's a good idea to be using all of my <laughs> all of my things that I've brought with me here. Probably not a good idea, is it? Okay, take on you. Don't, I've not seen this little guy before. I'm a bit scared by him. He's gonna start up some guarding. He has a nice bit of prot as well. Let's start up some some food cooking. I'm just scared to get the, the curse. I'm so scared to get the curse. Okay, nice set of that repost. And here it comes. 11. 11. We did stun this guy. This guy doesn't have the big stun resist that these other dudes do. That's really nice. Just have to be aware to not attack the back line with anyone else because this guy can't, can't do anything. A soaked leech. Bleed resist. Nice. Excellent. So that's two done. It doesn't say normally it's like one left sort of thing, so it doesn't say that at the moment, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. It's good to find out what these do though. That didn't do anything. Again, probably stress relief, and we just didn't see it. It's really good to get these all found out though, because it gives you a little tooltip at the bottom once you've used one once. So it's gonna be good to know, nonetheless. Right, let's keep on moving through. See what we can find. Another bit of combat here. Every, every single bit of combat scares the living shit out of me with the, these guys. Just because... I just, I'm just so scared that we're going to get the curse. I know it's a pain in the ass to deal with. We are taking a lot of stress on Manold here. And apparently a lot of damage too. Um, let's hope that ends soon. Take you out. And Manold here can... Ooh, that low accuracy. Ooh, I think it... That's, yeah, I'm dumb. That was his first turn. I didn't realise. Of course, he's always going to miss on his first turn. Always. I've got to remember that. Nice hits. Mars has been doing actually the brunt of the work here. He's been taking out pretty much everyone. Nice. Keep going. More searching to do, so that said two on it there. I don't know what that's about. That's another shovel one. We can't afford to do that. We've only got one shovel left. And we know that there is actual... Oh, what the hell's this? What the hell's this thing? I've got to, I've got to search this. Um, a mysterious figure, not fully human, not fully insect, Neil... Um, So, I think I've got to give it blood, I guess. Blood for treasure. Oh, that's really nice. I got trinkets. I don't want this trinket. I've already got one of those. I'll take that one. Um, do you know what? I'll take that as well. Cool. That was unexpected, but very welcome. So we can get trinkets from the courtyard relatively easily here. <gasps> ah, I, I'm scared. I have been told, beware the crocodile. I really hope this thing doesn't kill me. Oh my god, I'm I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> Someone just, someone said, beware the crocodile. I didn't know what they meant by that. Now I do. Can I stun you? Yes, I can. Let's up our stun chance. That's a nice crit as well. Okay. I am really scared. Do you know what? I've been messing around with this for the whole time. I can't even use Blunderbuss from this position. I need to switch with Maggie. Maggie can be in the back, can't she, sir? Still, we'll just go for the shots for now. This, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> this is not good. Oh my god. We're all getting up with a curse, aren't we? Fucking hell. Um, what do these things do? 
Dodge 200? They got a ho Are they just there to be in the way? I'm guessing that's the case there. Oh my god. I'm... This is a terrible group for this. Terrible, terrible group for this. We're, we're not going to be able to kill this guy, are we? And we keep moving him to the back as well, which is not, not helping. Yeah, we can't hit those at all. Ever. This isn't good. We're gonna just keep- we're just gonna keep lowering your accuracy by a whole hell of a lot. Like, a whole hell of a lot. 40% damage! Oh my god, I'm so scared. This is terrible. <laughs> I didn't know this could happen. I didn't know this was a boss fight. Ugh. I didn't know this was going to be a boss fight. I didn't read enough, did I? I obviously didn't read enough. Oh my god, I missed with that too. Ow. Oh my god. I'm very scared. Ah, you bastard. That hurts so much. We don't have any bloody bandages left. Oh my god, this is just the worst. You do You did six damage. You did six damage. Oh, this is where we are going to lose so many people here. We are going to lose so many people here. Nice crits, but he keeps knocking him back. That's not good. All right, take some healing. Take some healing. Manold, you are carrying us right now. You are carrying us right now. We can't do anything while he's back there. It's very annoying, right? Keep you debuffed. Right, take some more restoration. You need it. Okay, he brings himself forward. That's super nice. You can take some more restoration too. Oh my god, deal more damage, please. Seven. Oh, this is... Oh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Oh, we got him. We got him. That was very scary. Oh, my God. And we got ourselves a Lamia thing. Nice. Um, We'll put away these and take that. Don't really care about portraits. Oh, my God. So, do we keep... Do we keep carrying on? Activate three... Thronging hives. I mean, we've only done two, I think. Were they even thronging hives? I have no idea. Let's carry on. We're, we're, we're stressed out, but we're okay-ish. Okay, we're running out of food, though. And we're out of shovels. I did not know that could happen. Oh, that was close. I did not know that I could just come across the crocodile. Oh, here it is. Nice, okay. Return to Hamlet. Wow, that was stressful. Oh, what's this? My home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half-mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Wow. I'm going to guess that's the Duchess. That was really cool. Okay. Whoa. That was... That was real scary. Mars didn't even level up. Come on, Mars. What are you playing at? What are you playing at, Mars? Oh, my heart. My little heart. I was not expecting that. These 
All regions with experience uh, will experience a growing infestation. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, Mitre's Seal. We kind of have to buy that, don't we? Right, let's take a look at what we got here. And we got a lot of legendary items here. So we got ourselves an apostate. Avoid summonings in quest boss fights. Okay, that's just a thing. Um, on kill buff party with plus one maximum HP. Um, on hit debuff target. On kill summon walking cops. That's pretty interesting. I'm in a walking corpse. Interesting. Oh, we just got one of those. Pit fighter. Pretty pretty interesting. High women. Wow. A lot of extra uh, range stuff there. Might a seal, which we kind of really want. Do you know what? We're just going to buy that straight off the bat. Um, and we've got a librarian thing here as well for... A lot of extra move resist, extra maximum HP, speed. Know thy enemy has minus 120% move skill chance and on hit knockback too. Interesting. Interesting. Um, As much as it costs a lot, I'm going to take that as well because that sounds really good. They both sound fantastic, so I'm going to take them both. I'm going to equip all of our trinkets here. But yeah, that was that was a real scary time for us just then. I I did not like it. You can see how fast our money's going away here. And we have ourselves. Oh, I thought we had a level 4 revenue in them. We don't. <laughs> uh, we have ourselves another falcon here, but we do have ourselves a new class. We have ourselves the Scarecrow. A level 4 Scarecrow has joined us. Um, this one does have a backstory ready to go. And I did notice earlier as well, we have another class that I ha that doesn't have a backstory yet. And I don't really know how it slipped through the cracks. We got a new Ronin quite a while back. And this Ronin still doesn't have uh, any backstory. So if, if any of you out there want to write that for us, then that'd be great. But yeah, there you go. got ourselves uh, some nice stuff there. We've pretty low on money, but we started off the Crimson Court. I am scared for my life and my heart is pounding, but that was a really fun episode. Got a lot done and there is so much to write about. It's going to be really enjoyable seeing what you guys come up with. And I might even write some stuff for myself, uh, some stuff for myself for some of the characters too. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.